So I'm in the unusual situation of being an international lawyer that works in the Centre for Gender Studies. Um, and yeah, it was just a series. I've always worked in feminist legal studies and gender sexuality law. Um, and I've been able to develop that at SOAS, a series of modules, as well as now the program, that sit on that space between gender studies and law. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I uh, look at feminist methodologies and their application in the field of international law. A specifically important period to do that because of the rise of gender law reform in international law. Uh, so my work analyzes uh, the take up of that of specifically neoliberal trends within international law, uh, the role of gender expertise within international law, thinking about how we move from focusing on women's issues to seeing how gender is manifested as a structural bias within legal arrangements. So it is the only uh, gender and law program that's available. Um, and it is unique in allowing st students to take half their modules in the Centre for Gender Studies and half of their modules in the law school. So they can build a law specialism, regardless of whether they have a law background, uh, alongside detailed and in-depth study of gender. And of course, because we're at SOAS, that's in relation to the SOAS regions of Asia, Africa and the Middle East, as well as their diaspora communities. Not at all. Uh, we have students that come from practitioner backgrounds that work in the sector, uh, civil society, NGOs around women or humanitarian issues. Also in from conflict, uh, doing humanitarian work in conflict set settings. But we also have students uh, that come through a more academic route from a wide range of disciplines uh, that are looking to supplement that with uh, much more focused postgraduate study. Um, but yeah, it's a very diverse uh, set of students. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard work. It's not probably what you think it could be. Uh, so uh, it's also incredibly enriching and rewarding, but the students that find it enriching and rewarding, rewarding have put in that extra work and really understand that this is a full-time course, a full-time commitment that will challenge your thinking and often push you out of your comfort zone, but in a good way.